This tutorial shows how to use Docker to set up a Java development environment. The code for the tutorial is on GitHub. The tutorial supports three popular Java IDEs, Eclipse, IdeaJ, and NetBeans. Please have the following installed, Docker, Java IDE of your choice, and a JDK. So let's get started. Download the Labs repository from GitHub. First, we'll import the code for the application as a Maven project. We'll select the project and click Finish, and Eclipse will import the project. Part 2 Building the Application. To build the application, we'll create a run configuration using a Maven build. We'll give the build configuration a name, set the base directory of the application. We'll also set goals for Maven, clean, and install. We'll leave the other options as default, hit apply, then run. You'll see the results of the build in the console, and if the build is successful, you'll see the message for it. Part 3, Running the Application Let's start the application development environment using Docker. Go into the Labs, Developer Tools, Java Debugging Directory. As you can see, there's a docker-compose.yaml file. We'll use that to start up the environment. Use Docker Compose up to start, which will start building the images for both the web server and the database. While this is running, let's take a look at the Docker Compose YAML file. As you can see, there are two services defined, a database and a web server. The database has names the images, sets a couple environment variables, and opens a port for the client. With the web server, again, the image is named, and we do also define a mount volume from our local GitHub repository to the Docker instance of the web server. And we create a linkage between the database and the web server, and open the ports for both the application server and for debugging. Next, we'll look at the Docker file for the database. We use a standard MySQL image, create the database and the tables using a script, plus set some environment variables. The Docker file for Tomcat uses Tomcat 7 and Java Runtime Environment 8. We'll set a couple of user parameters, as well as copy over the JDPC driver for MySQL. We'll create a directory for the mount point and open up ports for both Tomcat plus the debugging port. When Docker finishes bringing up Tomcat and MySQL, we can go to the Tomcat homepage and click on the Manager app. We can log in using System Manager as the password. This brings us to the Manager page. As you can see, there are the default apps from Tomcat, as well as our own application called User Signup. Clicking on User Signup will bring us to our application page, which is DockerCon registration in 2035. Part 4, Debugging the Application. We'll start using the application by signing up Gordon the Turtle for DockerCon 2035. So we'll give Gordon a username, Gordon of course, a password, his first and last name, his date of birth, and his email address. All this information will be copied from this form and saved in the database. Go ahead and click Yes to save him. Now we'll log in to see Gordon's registration. As Gordon logs in, oh no, 
Let's look at the code to see what the problem is with his registration. We'll set up a debug configuration to see what's going on in the code. We'll click on Run Debug Configuration, and we're going to create a remote Java application debug configuration. We'll give it a name. It's User Sign Up, which is our application name. And we'll also set the project. We can use Browse and leave the other defaults and click Finish. Next, we'll look at the code. We'll look up where the password is set, which is in user.java. And we'll set a breakpoint to see what the value for the password is when we enter it into the form. If you notice, it performs a rotation 13 or rot 13 on the password to scramble it for extra added security. We'll switch from the Java perspective to the debug perspective in order to see what's going on. As you can see, the remote debug is already on, and we can look at the code, and the breakpoint here is already set. We can toggle that on. Next, we'll create a registration for Moby the Whale. As previously, we'll set Moby as his username, Give him the password, M0BY. Set the first name and last name. Of course, his date of birth, which happens to be the day Docker was released. And his email address. We'll sign him up for registration. And the debugger will show us at the breakpoint what the value of password is, which is M0BY. However, this isn't the value of the password that's stored in the database. So when we try to log Moby in, Again, logging in fails. So let's take a look at the actual value of the password when it's retrieved from the database. We'll set a breakpoint at get password. And we'll also disable our previous breakpoint. Again, we'll switch back to our perspective to debug mode. and try logging Hobie in again. If we open and look at the variable values, we can see that the actual password from the database is Z0OL. And this is our problem. The password that we're entering doesn't match the password in the database. So we're going to have to try and fix that. When the password is entered, we use the user service implementation code to get the password from the database. So previously, the password is entered using rotation 13. So we'll apply the same class to the password when it's entered into the form. We'll import the class. And for the sake of this exercise, we'll create another variable for the password. That applies rotation 13 or rot 13 onto the password that's entered into the form. Where we test for the password is the same as the, the entered password is the same as the password in the database. We'll change that variable too as well and save our changes. 
we'll toggle a breakpoint there in order to see what the values are. And we'll switch back to the debug perspective again. We'll turn off the previous breakpoint under the user class for get password because we're only interested in seeing what's entered onto the form. So let's try logging in again. As we look at the values, we enter the password m0by, but what gets sent to the database in the query is z0ol, which is the correct password or the rotation 13 of m0by. So if we press continue, Moby is able to log in again. So to summarize, what we've done is set up a Maven application from GitHub and Eclipse We've built Docker images for Tomcat and MySQL, and then used Docker Compose to run Tomcat and MySQL containers. We've established remote debugging in Tomcat through Eclipse, and we debugged a live Spring MVC application in Eclipse using containers.